So in the regards of uh, Industry 4, Revolution 4.0 to the food industry, especially in the supply chain management, I think there are a few areas that is uh, very impactful in today's uh, industry. Uh, for instance, uh, the use of IoT is something that is widely uh, being explored as well as being uh, further used. Uh, definitely, uh, data analytics is a key field that uh, most industry, uh, especially in the supply chain, uh, really looking at how to optimize and further utilize the data that they can give, as well as the insights to actually derive more actionable uh, decisions so that they can actually improve efficiency and as well as uh, impact on effectiveness. Okay. Uh, so in the idea of uh, innovations that is very prevalent in the supply chain world, uh, especially related to the food industry, there are a few key areas that uh, I've been watching that is very uh, up to mark as per, per related to how the industry goes. So for instance, uh, the widely uh, focus or, or attention on cold chain supply, uh, meaning to say that uh, delivery uh, conducted in a controlled temperature environment uh, is something that uh, more and more manufacturers, brand owners uh, are beginning to explore. Uh, primarily for two reasons. Number one, uh, with the use of uh, IoT devices, they can actually now have a more uh, better utilization of how to manage their costs uh, when it comes to these cold delivery trucks. Number two, there's also an intense uh, requirement from the consumer uh, trying to consume fresher foods or even uh, a lot of foods that are very temperature dependent that wasn't available those days huh? because we used to have all these traditional uh, processing techniques like canning and, and, and uh, powder creation and so forth. Uh, these days with the cold environment or cold storage and the cold transportation, uh, this is something that uh, people are beginning to explore things that are on a fresher basis, on a healthier basis. So that's one big development in terms of uh, innovations in the food supply chain. The other great innovation that uh, been apparent uh, many years ago, but these days is becoming more and more prominent, is what we call the ready-to-shelf techniques. And this has got to do with how we have uh, traditionally done food packaging for all our products. So uh, the traditional packaging, almost as a primary packaging, is either in tin cans, in glass jars, or uh, in yellow foils, depending on the food per se. And we have a shipper carton that uh, primarily use it for storage per, per se, to survive the delivery, whether from the warehouse to the storage, and as well as, of course, to the retail. But these days, more and more uh, manufacturers or even brand owners are more conscious that they are trying to limit the usage or the handling between uh, manufacturing facility to the retail outlet. As a result of that, this focus of ready-to-shelf uh, mindset has begun to set in. So uh, the whole idea is to minimize the handling because uh, more handling is more damage and more damage uh, leads to more contamination and losses per se. So this is one big uh, area that